Okay, cool. So we're back at your property. Um, we just thought we'd, we were filming a boiler video today and we thought it'd be good to catch up on how your solar is performing. Obviously we're launching solar on the platform that'll be coming sort of the end of Q1 2023. You've been doing some testing of some products for us and you've been sort of helping us guide us through that journey. And we're just keen to see, last time we came, it was summer, super sunny. You were getting lots of generation and now we are in November and we just wanted to know, have you seen a significant dip with the shorter days? How does that affect how much energy you get back at night time? Do your batteries take longer to charge? Are you exporting less? And have you, you know, are you getting less back off the energy companies really? So it was just a quick catch up on that, see if you had any up system updates as well. Yeah, so we've seen a massive drop now. Obviously it's colder weather, shorter days. Last month, so October, we still generated 535 kilowatt hours, which is still, I would say, amazing. Um, so that, that's going to be a massive reduction on us bills. Our direct debit at the moment is still only £1 per month. That's actually for the gas and electric because we was a, around £250 or £300 in credit. And then because of government support, we're getting them £66. Oh, they're going for the bill. So them yeah. £66 are about covering the costs at the minute. So we're still in credit about the same. Right. Um, so at the minute... I've not paid any energy bills this year at all. So from last December to now, we've actually taken money off. That's we, amazing. Isn't it? But I've got quite a big system. Yeah. So and you've most, got batteries as well. Got batteries. Um, we could adapt to this now, so I could change my tariff and I could buy from the grid at a cheaper rate. I haven't changed my tariff yet. I could do that, and then again, I would 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 do even better out of it. But at the moment, because we're only paying one pound a month for direct debit and it's not costing us anything at all, it's, it's just worth it. What we're generating there at the minute? 1115 watts. So we're still generating over one kilowatt at the minute now, and it's dull, it's been raining. Your um, house won't be pulling more than a kilowatt now? No, so it pulls about 0.1 when, when, there's, when there's not much in you, so like your fridge and things like that. Yeah. Once we've put, we've got an SLC pump, once we put that on, that pulls about three kilowatts. Yeah, very, very efficient. Um, yeah. So that that takes a lot. That does take a lot of energy. Uh, with regards to batteries, as you can see at the minute, it's, it's not the best day today, and we we're, we're half full on these batteries. That one's that's only a quarter full. So they, they're but they're set to charge from whenever they, they they'll be charging from the sun, right? Uh, from the daylight, if you like, really. Um, so that because the days are shorter now, the batteries are not fully charging. They may get near, nearly to full, but they're not. They're not getting. They're not getting full. But there'll still be enough charge in those batteries to run your house until the next time the sun comes out. Um, not quite. Right. It's not quite now. It's not quite as good as it was. Obviously, when it was sunny and it were longer days, we had far too much energy. But then we were selling it back to the grid, so we were getting credit. Yeah. On our on our bills, we did take some money off. Um, but then now we're not quite generating enough to do everything we need yeah um, but it's still reducing our bills dramatically i think the way to look at it as well is if you aggregate it over the year absolutely so the energy companies when they take your direct debit they don't generally take a higher direct debit in winter and a lower one in summer they just aggregate the cost across the year yeah uh, and keep a little bit for themselves with solar you sort of need to do your own version of that which will be you know in summer you'll generate lots of um, electricity you may export to the grid you'll not use any from the grid your batteries will be charged you could charge your car from it and that overperforms and in winter it slightly underperforms or yeah. underperforms but across the year yeah you're up so when Absolutely. people it's i think it's key isn't it like when you do your payback analysis on when this system's going to pay back if you took one month in isolation, that wouldn't be representative of the actual payback because no. if you were in June and it was cracking the flags and you were really producing a lot of electricity, your payback might look like two years. Whereas if you were on the worst day in winter, it could look like 20 years. So you've got to take the average factor that in and that'll work out your payback for you. There's lots of software that does that as well. So uh, we're trialing some different types of software now where consumers can get a quote for their system and their installation. You can also put your energy tariff in as it is now 
and it'll and it'll work out your savings and what what the cost back uh, pay, payback period would be on that. You mentioned before your batteries. You've got two at the eight point five now. Two. These are eight point two kilowatt hours each. So I've got sixteen point four kilowatt hours of battery. And you're changing these. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to swap these out. I'm going to put some bigger batteries in. Just as a yeah. test and to see how they perform. Yeah, just to see how bigger batteries do. Yeah. Because there's some new improved batteries now, if you like. Right. So we're going to take, take these ones out and put the new ones in. Yeah. Just because I can, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, just see how Obviously, for a customer and end user, that wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. No, because it's important to size your batteries for your demand as well, isn't it? So yeah. you can... Again, going back to the software piece, you know, some of the questions that we'll be asking are when you're in the property, how many habits are in the property, and that'll give you an idea on what sort of battery to pick because there's no point spending a load of money on 20 kilowatts worth of energy yeah. storage if you only actually need five or six. And there's a range of batteries and different options available, so it'll be good to get the feedback on that. Maybe we should catch up again in uh, you know, a couple of months once we're into sort of deep winter in January, February see how the system's performing and get an idea on the savings you've made across sort of you know the most challenging period for a pv array yeah because we did it in summer and it was all great and it was rosy we want to yeah. make sure we look at it in winter because this is what customers are going to experience when they're having these products installed but Whichever that, that, way that's you... a common question people ask when when you say oh it's amazing it's doing really good good to say well what's it going to be like in winter well the truth is what we're looking at it over a 12 month period. Yeah. So it's not, it's amazing it's summer and it's really bad in winter. Over the 12 months, what we'll have saved X amount on yeah. those bills, which I think will probably be cost neutral, to be honest. I don't think we'll we pay, pay you any pay bills. for electric. Yeah. And then when you take into consideration that without these renewable technologies in your property, you won't have the savings that are available, as in like, if you didn't have these products now, you would just be buying energy at whatever price it's set at. I know there's some support there now from the government. That's not going to be there forever. No. And whoever we meet, whoever we um, have discussions about the energy transition, there's one common denominator, and that is energy is only ever going to go one way, and that is up. Yeah. So installing these technologies now, even now if you're at break point where you're cost neutral on energy, if those prices keep rising, as they are predicted to, you will find yourself in a position where you will only ever get better. Um, obviously, it's important to make sure you install good products, which is why we're testing different products, um, and that they're suitable for your home. The array needs to be suitable, the battery needs to be suitable, and we want to be very transparent with the learnings from your system and different systems that we've got on test at the moment about how and what and uh, how would you expect it to perform and when would you expect it to underperform and again look at that aggregated position across the year so i think we'll definitely do that in january come back and have a look in february me and see how you're getting on maybe take a cold look from at my bills. my point of view with these i couldn't recommend them enough the having having solar panels and having batteries i think it's a no-brainer i'm definitely i mean i spent my own money buying this didn't get any support from anybody no sponsors on it paid my own money would i spend that money again absolutely it's probably one of the best investments i've ever made oh, okay. to be honest yeah yeah um, and as i'm getting older and we'll have less income coming in we won't have as much going out in energy bills so for me it's yeah because so, once the assets paid back then you're in pure credit aren't yeah, you yeah. especially if those prices keep on rising you've got an electric car as well so you run the system off the car so when you start factoring in fuel savings compared yeah. to if you look at it as a whole picture yeah it's a very effective solution i know you've got the is it the zappy car charge haven't we yeah. uh, we're going to take another quick look at that in a moment as well and um, just get your thoughts on that as a product they've just released um a battery as well uh, and an inverter it's called the Libby it was at the solar uh, convention so they've got some really exciting products I think you've got the Harvey as well haven't you yeah uh, which is the energy management one and then they do the Eddy I think is that for the cylinder yeah um, so nice range of products from them as well that's another option that we're looking at um, so yeah just a quick update on it obviously good to get some ongoing feedback there's lots of cars driving past we can't do anything <laughs> about that because your system's in the garage it's just a quick video to show you how alan's system's performing in winter so we'll do another video once the conditions are again against the system see how it's performing and we'll report back from there cheers